so save us Uh, we're gonna be talking about small fins versus big fins. Um, I'm gonna share some of my experiences riding the two and um, yeah, give you a bit of information about and hopefully shed some light on which one is the fin size for you. Uh, so with big fins, I always rode big fins. Prior to uh, riding boots and small fins, I was always a big, big fin bandit. So um, yeah, that was that sounds really good. I reckon it um, it allows for better pop. Um, it allows you to drive and build up that resistance in the kite when the water's a bit choppy. However, it is prone to catching and getting sticky on the landing, so I think go with the big fins if you're learning a trick because you can generate the pop needed and the height for the trick. But yeah, watch those landings, especially landing to blind, that can you know be a bit of an issue with big fins. But yeah, I reckon yeah, if you can go bigger, so so that's definitely a plus. But with boots, um, I reckon small fins are the go. These are good for especially flat water conditions. Um, however, in the in the chop, they do get a bit scatty, a bit slidey, and sometimes, or for me anyway, sometimes when I load up and pop, they kind of slide out and I don't get the, the required height that I need to do my tricks. But, um, you know, I guess it's all assessing the conditions and, and what works for you. If you, you know, if you can't land with the big fins, then go for the small fins. But if you can't pop and you're skating out all the time, um, jump onto a bigger set, set of fins. It's really assessing the conditions and your rider ability and, and yeah, going from there. But I just alternate between the two, whatever it's doing. I think that's it's a good thing about kiting. It's easy to change up if you want to suit the conditions. 